All right, so to set up my custom color palette for this presentation, um, and the colors of course come from the mood board that we worked on previously, I'm gonna go to the themes tab here in my menu within PowerPoint, and then I'm gonna select colors. And you can see here, I have a few custom ones already programmed in, but I'm gonna show you how to create a new one. To do that, you scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says create three theme colors, and then you get this sort of default thing that they plug in for you. Um, I normally leave, you know, one background as black as normal, that's default, and I leave the white as white. And then um, I usually don't use these other two. Typically I don't need more than, than um, you know, a black or a white background, but let's say that we did in this case. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna change the color and I'm going to make it this um, deeper, purple sort of shade, which is one of their brand colors. And you can see once I type in the RGB values, RGB stands for red, green, and blue, that color combination, I get this uh, lovely sort of violet purple hue. And so that's gonna become my new text background color there. And then I'm gonna choose one more, I'm gonna change that color. And here I'm gonna set it up to be a brighter option this time more of a pink. And so now I have those two options as, as highlight background colors. Um, the rest of these accent things, you know, you use them for a bunch of different reasons. You can change, for example, the color of hyperlinks. If you have hyperlinks in your presentation, what they look like after, you really can customize quite a bit. Um, so you can set it up as a theme this way and just make as many of those, you know, whatever colors you'd like. The other way that I sometimes set up a color palette for a presentation is when I'm actually, for example, typing some text. So title goes here, that'll be my text. And then I want to um, change that under this font color shortcut, you get the color menu. And this same menu will come up whether you're changing the color of a shape or the background of your slide or whatever. If you click on more colors, it brings up that very same dialog box we were looking before in the themes that enables you to create this menu of custom colors. So these are all custom colors I've used in various presentations recently. PowerPoint likes to keep them at the ready. Um, so again, you, you'll type in the RGB code, or if you don't have the RGB code, let's say you have the, the hex code, you can use that. Um, if you're coming from print, maybe the CMYK. But anyway, I'll put in my codes here, 110 for red, 84 for green, 166 or blue, and again, I get my lovely violet, and then I drag that little color palette right here into this top left box, and now that becomes my color. So now, anytime I click any bit of text, let's make a new bit of text just to show you. Subtitle, right, it defaults to gray, but now I'm gonna go up here and I can select one of the recent colors I set up right there, and now it's gonna be that purple.